guys, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about defining what the role is of an insurance adjuster. I've jotted some more notes down, so you'll see me referring to them because I want to try to stay in a certain order here. Um, you know, a lot of times we, we tell you what a public adjuster is, how a public adjuster helps you, why to use a public adjuster. We don't really address who that other person is that we're interacting with that's representing the insurance company. So I, I wanted to, to give you a little job description of what he is to do or she, you know, that individual who is representing the insurance company during a claims process when you've suffered a claim and you've called the insurance company. So uh, right off the bat, uh, the, the uh, role of an insurance adjuster is to investigate insurance claims on behalf of the insurance company, otherwise known as the insurer. They play a critical role in the claims process. Uh, once a claim has been logged in and is now on the books, a individual will be assigned and within three, four days, uh, you would be contacted where they will be coming out to make an assessment. They'll be doing an inspection. Now, during that inspection, what they're doing is they are out there to determine uh, and obtain facts of what actually took place there and see if they can um, justify that there is adequate insurance in place to cover this specific loss, okay? So, you know, you have a policy that says it's going to cover you for certain situations when they arise. Uh, when a situation arises, now it's up to the insurance adjuster to come out and determine has the, what has arisen and from what incident has caused this, is that within with the structure of your policy, stating that it would cover these things? Uh, there, the, it also has to see uh, maintain the fact that all the conditions and endorsements in the policy have been met. So you can have something that takes place and that normally your policy covers, but because it didn't happen in a certain way, which is under conditions, then the insurance company is not providing coverage for that specific situation that took place, uh, which can come back and haunt you pretty bad, can it? Um, that a loss or damage to the property falls within the terms of the policy. Um, the amount that's being claimed is reasonable, and... Um, only valid items are included on the claim. So when something happens and, and there's been things that have been damaged, uh, there may be other things that have been damaged in the home. Uh, that had nothing to do with what just took place here, even though it was in the same room. That, that has nothing. So those items would not be part of what this claim was. And that's where the insurance adjuster has to identify clearly what specifically was the end result loss of the specific peril that had just taken place. Um, during their visit, what they also do is they will look to give advice for maybe some safety that you need to add a simple uh, situation. Of course, not that you would not think of it, right? If you had your door broken in and you cannot secure it any longer, they, they would uh, want to make sure that that has been taken care of where you've got uh, that adequately protected that people cannot gain entrance without your permission uh, and, and you know that's safety and security of course um, this is all done and once the facts have been put together a report is generated along with an estimate if they find that you know some dollars are warranted and that is then submitted to the company and that will be coming out to you then at that point uh, so uh, ultimately summarizing this, the loss of the insurance adjuster will be looking to establish the cause of the incident and whether the damage suffered as a result is covered by the insurance policy. That's what his job is. 
his, her job. <laughs> That's what their job is. I have to remember, uh, we, we have both male and, and female representatives going out there. But that's, that's what they do. They are out there representing the behalf of the insurance company to do an investigation. They are investigating what took place. We already knew what the policy was. He looked that up before he came out. So um, they are very familiar with what your limits are, what your terms and conditions are. Now they want to see what took place how did it take place? When did it take place? You know, was it something that happened prior to insurance actually being uh, covered in your, your period you know, of being covered? Um, and uh, the policy dates. So all this is, that information is collected and uh, a determination is made then just what level will be paid out and so forth and so on. So that, that's, that's the duties of a insurance adjuster. He's out there on behalf of the insurance company to take a look at things, make an estimate, see what the policy should cover for, what it should not, because this, you know, there's exclusions that even though you did suffer damage from what have you, the policy states that when that happens this way, it's not going to be covered. Where when that happens, if it would have happened another way, it would have been covered. But that's why you need to know what's in your policy. This is the information that's contained and how important the letter of each word is, how it's written. Guys, I hope that you found that informative. Uh, I don't know if many people have ever done one on them. Usually it's always us talking about what we do, right? What we can do for you. But I thought I'd give you an entirely different slant. I switched roles and threw that out. Guys, if you like what you heard, would you give me one of these? Also, would you please share this with others? I think other people will find this interesting as well. And please, would you subscribe to my channel? I, my, my subscription, my subscription, the subscriber numbers keep going up. That's wonderful. The more you guys look at this, the more other people will get to see this as well. So I really appreciate all that support. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless you. Thank you.